Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going over Bitcoin once again what has happened since the last public live stream that we did only just two days ago we are in the festive season and of course like every day Bitcoin always has a story to tell so I'd say get ready for the story get ready for the building up of the narrative get set go and enjoy the video see you in a bit So waking up here, basically getting up, bringing you straight this video from giving you this update on uh, Bitcoin uh, technical analysis on the chart, what has, ha what has been happening lately at the moment. And the thing is, why am I so excited? Well, for two things, because I love stories and Bitcoin always has to tell one each, every day, even every minute. On the higher term time frame, maybe not that much has changed, but always, there's always, always something new to find. And it makes it really, really exciting. And you know, really what makes me get up in the morning and why they're always great it is really because i always know that the next best trade is ahead of me so no matter how well or how poor i did yesterday i always know that there's always going to be a day when there's going to be something even bigger than that has already happened for me so bless everything Really, I'm in this Christmas vibe and that's why I'm very very excited other people also wishing me a great good morning you know, posting amazing pictures of the whole festive uh, festive vibe going on here. Unfortunately, the place where I live, we don't really have snow. It is cold though, so yes, very much in the in the in the winter vibe. Uh, before I forget, leave a like and subscribe, uh, or leave something behind in the comments below. Uh, do you like what we are doing here? Do you like our content? And then show us our support. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit that like and subscribe button. Give us a follow on social media. And with having that said, let's dive into the chart because what has happened since the public live stream that has happened last Monday? Um, I was showing you this down, downward sloping trend line and we seem to have been moving out of it, progressing into a new chapter of the Bitcoin book. So what has happened so far in that new chapter? First of all, it's hard to deny that we have moved out of this channel. So we can deny that price has simply gone up. However, if you would zoom out a little bit further, then you could see that we're pretty much still in a range, right? So just doing a little bit of technical analysis, you would have to mark out this as the top of the range, or in other words, you can also translate it somewhere similar to this. And actually to be a little bit more specific as to apply the theory that we teach in our community, we would translate that to a daily level being put up over here, marking out the top of the range. And now instead of downward sloping, it's the shape of this range starts to look a little bit more like uh, a sideways range, isn't it? So uh, that is already a level at 50,600 or 50,000 more or less, I would say, uh, give or take a few hundred dollars. Uh, psychological level top of the range so a good level to look out for within this range uh, should we leave that range however um, then I would say the rise that we could quickly see a rise to the upside because there's not a lot of uh, resistance up above we could potentially see a rise to fifty seven thousand dollars however it is way 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 too far away for the way that I am going to look at the chart right now because this is much more on the higher term time frame and Today, I actually want to give some love to the day traders uh, in here or people who are interested in looking at an intraday chart. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly look at what has happened during that breakout yesterday that we had yesterday out of the trend line, which officially happened over here exactly. There we go, which happened over here exactly. Quickly going to, sh uh, to shift to my book of context and what do we see here we see yesterday we had an increase in price building up the volume during the entire day but also putting in a poor high making the high there not that significant in my opinion so in other words it's been uh, for me it was already really likely that that high is going to be taken out what we've done after that instead so we've tapped that specific level not only building up that volume and putting in a poor high but we're also touching a daily naked point of control over here which in the end resulted into a tap into the level in a higher high, uh, higher low and eventually continuing up to 
a major key level within that range. Now, how do I get that key level specifically? Well, quickly zooming out into a little bit of a higher term time frame, simply pulling a Fibonacci level from high to low, not this high, but actually from the high of the range. And there we go, we have our level of confluence and surprise, surprise, there's absolutely no reason why we should think that that level is not a level that you know, for example, you could long, <laughs> for example. However, the other thing about this is that we are having an upward sloping range right now. So very, 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 very simply put, we are maintaining a bullish market structure. Yes, we are running into resistance. However, as long as we, as long as the story that is being told is that volume is building up as price is moving up, then, you know, um, the market structure stays simply intact. So one way you could do that is simply incorporate that into a upward sloping channel, more or less. And there we go. We have constructed our channel or our price action from the last two days, more or less. Uh, you can get a little bit creative with it. If you want to learn uh, exactly how to use this tool, then sign up to our uh, website. We have a free level, we have uh, we have paid memberships where we dive really into depth on how to actually use these tools. Uh, not going to go too deep into this in this video, but I am going to show you all, uh, how you can construct things like this, uh, or at least give you a glimpse of how I'm looking at this chart. And in my opinion, we are now simply at an upward sloping channel. So for that reason, it really makes it very simple, uh, simple doesn't it? Because simply lose this range, or in other words, lose this type of market structure, then you could look for your next support down below. And this is all within the range. We could see a very quick rise to the downside next to this region of price, which, which would basically boil down to $47,000. And should we move or should we keep on grinding up, uh, which at the moment is the most probable, to be honest, because the market structure simply is holding up. Should we move up to the, to the top of this channel, break out of this channel, backtest at top of the channel, well then in that case we have a very good chance of actually moving to the top of the range where the story begins yet another chapter where you can start reading that context once again and from there on out you can simply make your own trading decision once again. So all in all, what I really mean to say is trade this level to level, at least especially if you're a day trader kind of thing, I uh, would not really uh, shout anything home about. Uh, crazy targets like 100K by the end of the year. Yes, we did had quite a significant rise of about seven or 8%. Yes, that's true. But in the end, we're still in the range, right? So in my opinion, this is um, nothing much really has happened over the last two weeks, really. Uh, not really that much has happened. However, for day trading, it can be very interesting. There, there can be quite great moves. And if you allow yourself to be contained, do correct technical analysis, use the tools, and essentially don't listen to all the moon boys out there so to speak, but make your own informed decision with the knowledge that you uh, that you are gaining. Uh, if you put in the time and dedication to actually learn that, then you can, you know, then nobody has to tell you what to do. You can make that decision for yourself and um, uh, you can you can make your own informed decision. And, and that's uh, that's that's all the freedom that you are, uh, you know, that you need to in order to operate in these kind of markets. So um, for me, the story is very simple. Uh, this channel is currently what we're dealing with. Leave it to the downside. Then the bigger levels of this range come into play, which I've literally just marked out here in front of you on the screen. Uh, yeah, so can't stop giving giving you these levels um, in in this in this in this update. Top of the range. If we are leaving the range, simply simply said, then we can look for higher targets. However it really doesn't make sense to even consider any of that it, while we're still within the range really. And, and especially not if you're more of a day trader or a scalp trader even. So uh, having that said, um, I've already reached uh, the end of the video for now. One thing that I do wanna mention is that if you have been receiving gifts from me over the, over the last few weeks, then today is going to be a very nice 
gift. So make 100% sure to check your email box. And uh, if it maybe doesn't land in your email box, then it might be in your spam or promotions folder. So make sure you check that folder as well. And if you want to receive emails from me in the future uh, that are not uh, landing in your promotion or spam folder, then follow what this GIF is uh, telling you uh, by simply marking it out as such. Uh, so that the next time that the next gift, uh, when it comes, uh, is going to land actually in your email box and you do not miss it. And you don't really want to miss it because especially today's gift is going to be amazing. And um, yeah, it's also going to be uh, time sensitive, obviously, because the markets always move, the markets always continue, it never stops. Um, and in one way, that's amazing if you can contain your psyche within that. Well, with having that last line dropped, uh, I would say have a very, very, very happy Christmas. I wish everybody all the love and health that they need to pursue their interests and their ambitions and uh, signing off from here on out. So cheers, everybody, and see you in the next video. Bye.